So if you don't even bother with any of the financial measures like PE ratio and all this other stuff, mm -hmm. you can still do pretty well just simply by buying companies that you know of, big companies that have good brand identity, household names, they've been around a long time, mm -hmm. and that they have some kind of competitive advantage that you can think of, lowest prices, or mm -hmm. that they make the best quality product or that they hold patents or something like that. And then, with so you have a good company now, and now the other thing is just to buy it at a good price. So for pricing, a very simple way to do that would just be to look at a long-term chart of the stock price. Yeah, longer than 52 weeks? Yeah, well you can look at 52 weeks at first, and you can see what the range is for that 52 weeks, and then you can just try to buy as close as you can to the 52 week low. Okay. Uh, but I would look at even longer than that. I would look at two years or more. Okay. Two years and then I would look at the chart for five years and then the chart for 10 years. As long as you can. Yeah. And you just want to make sure that the chart is, is going up, you know, that it's moving up okay. uh, over the 10 years. You, you'll have valleys and peaks, but overall, that it's at a higher point than when you started from right. two years ago or five years ago or ten years ago. 